What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've been away for a while, I just wanted to take a little break and just kind of slow down and, and get away from filming, but um, this is something that I haven't tried before, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works. Um, I've always wanted a carbon fiber helmet and for the last probably six months to a year, I've been looking at these Bell Ray Stars and Finally, um, I got one. My wife was uh, stupid generous on our, on our anniversary, and she picked up this race star in carbon, and it's the, uh, it's the Flex DLX, and it, it's the Lux, so it has the red on the back of it, and they're super duper nice helmets. Um, I believe the, the box and everything as it sits right here is like three pounds, I believe, was what UPS said. And yeah, so let's open this box up and check this bad boy out. Um, we'll kind of do one of those. This box is really cool. It's got handles on it, uh, which is kind of nifty. But yeah, we'll get this opened up here. And these come with a stupid cool bag. Um, it, would, it would be really handy if flying or something like that or um, traveling uh, you know to keep the helmet in it's real nice storage um, it reminds me kind of a uh, bowling ball bag of <laughs> um, there's a pocket in the back there's a little fishnet deal here um, there's velcro over these handles here and then the uh, nice little rubber texturized handle here. It says race star on there. Um, but yeah, this is a dual zipper. Slides open from the top. There's Velcro that, that holds a strap down. And let's get in here and get this helmet. This is uh, like felt lined on the, or fleece lined on the inside. It's, it's real nice. So, you know, when the helmet doesn't have this plastic on it, it. Ooh, there's uh, holes at the bottom there. I'm not sure what those are for. Maybe air and other crap to let that out. But, but yeah, like I said, it's real soft in the inside of this carrying bag. It's it's almost like fleece is the best way I can explain it. So, but yeah, let's get this wrap off this helmet. Yeah, this is just a shipping deal. back in the box but yeah here's the helmet um, stupid cool you got the exposed carbon basically on the front half of the helmet and then you have a flat uh, section here with the vent and then this red section which is actually flat you can't really tell in any of the pictures um, that this thing is flat but yeah this this red section here um, is actually flat but yeah, these come with a, um, almost like a transition lens visor. Uh, they call it their Panovision shield, which um, basically now it looks clear, but you know, if I were to take this outside, it's, it's gonna turn a dark tint. I don't think they get as dark as, you know, a dark tint uh, shade does, but um, they do get pretty dark from, you know, the ones I've seen that friends and stuff have, but um, so yeah, yeah, this uh, shield does have a, um, I don't think they call it a traditional pin lock, but it's got a pin lock style um, in the front here as opposed to off to the side. And, you know, this is a one button um, deal to get this visor off on, on, on each side if you need to change it out or anything. Um, there's a lower, lower vent, an upper vent, and then a rear, is it two? No, there's just one. Uh, rear vent at the top here. And yeah, yeah, inside, um, which is really nice. I've, I've never seen another helmet have this, but these cheek pads and everything are actually um, magnetic, which is wild. Um, normally they use a, you know, a little plastic 
uh, connector that just squeezes, you know, female, male, and then it just snaps together. And uh, they do the same thing on the strap here. This is actually a magnetic um, strap for the excess on the D-ring. And what this looks like is, yeah, your owner's manual and uh, care instructions and stuff like that, uh, stickers in there. But yeah, these do have a really tight um, neck deal. I'm, I'm guessing that's to keep the wind out of it. And it looks like some exhaust for the for the air to come out. And then there's a chin one that, you know, these are all removable, except for these, I think. Yeah, those are behind the, the liner. But all in all, yeah, super, super duper happy with this. Uh, I have the most amazing wife in the world. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to go break this thing in. I'm not sure if um, we're gonna put all the Motovlog stuff in here and the Lexan on it and stuff like that. I'm, I'm gonna wear it a little bit and see, cause these do fit a little tighter than um, your normal, you know, baseline helmets. Um, this, you know, this is a race style helmet. You know, it's a race star. So, you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, the reviews, everybody loves them. The things are stupid light, so I definitely could, you know, get used to that. And I think they're pretty, pretty dang sharp. So uh, I'm stupid excited. It took me uh, a couple days to film this video after I got it. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a unboxing video. I've never done one before. So hopefully this helps out a couple people that, you know, want this helmet. And yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys. Um, if you're in the Nashville area this weekend, we are having our annual uh, anniversary party. It's our first year anniversary party for the Club South Tennessee page on Instagram. And it's going to be at Thunder Max ECUs in White House, Tennessee. I'll put up a little poster here. And yeah, we'd love to have you guys out. Um, you know, we try to do these every month. This is a big one. We've, we've put a lot behind this. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good turnout for this one. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.